I think this is the best play Brock Purdy has made in three games. All right, here's the situation. It's second and five, second play of the third quarter. It's a 14-3 game, and Jennings goes in motion, and Ryan Neal runs with them. They're going to have four receivers to the left side of the formation. They're going to flood it. Now, the play is really for Christian McCaffrey. Watch Juice. Juice is going to go out here, and he's going to position himself right here to block. All right? Watch it. The throw really should go to McCaffrey right there on a waggle with a lead blocker, and you're going to get a first down. But this is what makes Purdy special. He doesn't take the easy throw. He sees Kittle break open late, and he gets the ball down the field to Kittle. And Kittle finishes it the way he's capable of doing. Just don't get tackled finishing the paint. That's on Kittle. Great job. But this is what Purdy saw. Like, what he sees here as he waves Jennings in motion is Seattle drops eight. They only rush three. He knows he's got time. He can get the ball to McCaffrey on the waggle, but he's got a three-man rush here. So he's got time. Look at his feet. His feet are in the ground. It's calm. His eyes are up. He's like, okay, I could get it to McCaffrey, but I also could get it down the field to Kittle. You see, I think the guy has that killer instinct. Let me go deep before I go short. All this stuff about being a game manager, best defense, let's just take care of it. Let's just not screw it up. I don't think that's Brock Purdy. I think Brock Purdy wants to rip your jugular right out of your